All right, so I fixed my EDS guy and I also had a little face. He's happy. <laughs> Welcome back. Sorry, I have been MIA for the last few days. Uh, I was traveling to Pittsburgh to photograph a conference, um, but I am back home and have something interesting for you today. Um, so I realized that I haven't explained what EDS and POTS are. So instead of going through like a long, drawn out, dry explanation, I thought we'd do like a little demonstration. So we're gonna have Mario here and he's gonna be our normal guy, all right? And we are gonna make our EDS and POTS person with this glove. So I'm just gonna fill it up. So first thing I did was filled the EDS guy up with water and also tied the finger back because he only needs four limbs and I'm gonna keep this PG, all right. So we have our normal person and our person with EDS and POTS. So as you can see, this person can stand up pretty easily. Um, this person does not. Um, so what, what you're seeing here is that this person has regular collagen, um, their muscles, you know, and their, their ligaments and their tendons all work together with the bones to help keep this person upright. But with an EDS and POTS person, you have faulty collagen. So the muscles have to work extra hard. So we'll just say these are the muscles to hold the ligaments and joints in place. Um, otherwise, the person just falls down. So that's what EDS is. It's faulty collagen um, that, that leads to weak and unstable joints and um, it makes the muscles work extra hard to keep the person upright. So POTS, this person, when they go from a sitting to a standing position, they have no problems with their blood pressure, their heart rate or anything. The blood just goes right up to the brain and the muscles where it needs to be. Um, somebody with POTS, when they stand up, see how all the blood is pulling in the legs and in the abdomen and everything like that. It's not up where it needs to be. So this person has an issue with the autonomic nervous system. So that's things that you can't control like blood pressure and heart rate, um, digestion, things like that. So when this person stands up, they need a little extra help to push that blood up. So that's why things like compression stockings, they, they basically push the blood up to where it needs to be. Um, and then medication and stuff like that helps with heart rate, with the blood pressure, because when they, when they stand up and they don't have the blood going to where it needs to be, they have to have the heart working harder to pump more blood. So that means tachycardia, higher heart rate. Um, the blood pressure drops. Um, so it, you need something to keep that blood pressure up. So that's why medication, I don't know why this is leaking. It's probably from this hole back here, <laughs> but it's leaking all over. <laughs> um, but anyways, so that's kind of the idea with EBS and POTS. Um, it's a tough, like I said, it's, it's oh no, we're, we're dying here. Um, it's a hard condition to deal with. It takes a lot of multiple uh, medications and drinks and supplements and stuff like that to keep everything in check. All right, so I fixed my EDS guy and now he has a little face and he's happy. Um, so anyways, um, like I was saying, medication and uh, diet changes, like an increase in salt intake um, because that expands the blood volume. So that's really important and exercise. Um, I know it's hard for people with EDS and POTS to exercise because they have um, the intolerance of standing up as well as the joint issues and the joint pain. 
So things like a recumbent bike can be helpful or um, exercises that increase core strength is another good option. Um, so that was my demonstration for today. I hope it has helped you understand POTS and EDS a little bit more. There's a lot more to both issues, but that just kind of gives you a brief idea of what's going on with somebody with EDS and POTS. So I will see you guys on the next video. And remember today, you are chronically incredible. Have a good one.